Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the Crown Pod by UL. This is a brand new pod system that they developed and it actually has manual airflow control. So you can actually control your airflow, which I really, really like in a pod style device because sometimes the mount to lung is a little bit too loose or the direct lung is a little bit too tight. So you can actually adjust it that way. These pods do hold three mils of e-liquid and it comes with two. So you've got a 1.0 ohm resistance and a 0.6 ohm resistance. This device also does auto draw or push to fire so if you like just vaping on it without pressing a button you can do it or you can press the button to actually vape so before i give everything away before we go down let's go ahead and go down and take a closer look at the crown pod by ul okay so here we are with the crown pod by ul this is the box that it comes in on the back you're going to get some kit contents and then you're going to get the color i do have mine it says red but you're going to see different <laughs> and then also inside the box the user manual and it does have your serial number or counterfeit code right there you're also going to get this card here which is telling you how to open it and fill it and then of course you're going to get your worn warning card which comes with all of them and then you're going to get some silica gel throw that out then in addition to that you're actually going to get your device, you're gonna get a USB charging cable, and then you're gonna get a second pod. Now, the, this pod here is actually the 0.6 ohm um, direct lung or restrictive direct lung pod. This one actually has a min line right there, very, very easy to fill. Those are your contacts right there. It does say on the bottom, that's where you can actually see what the wattage is and your resistance, which I really like that so that you can actually have that information readily available for you. And it's not on the device, it's very clearly view viewable. Um, these do hold three mils of e-liquid. And in this one, again, it's the 0.6 ohm resistance pod. And then this one here is actually the one ohm mouth to lung resistance pod. It does come with a little plastic here so that you don't accidentally fire it. There are your contacts right there. So it touches on that. This does have both auto draw and um, you can push to fire. This is the one ohm pod. And if you notice, this one's all black. This one is red so that you can easily distinguish, you know, one from the other. This one is the lower resistance and this is more for the mouth to lung. Very, very easy to fill. As I said, all you have to do is grab a hold of the drip tip right here like that you just push it back and it opens up this right here is actually your mouthpiece you don't want to fill down that hole but you do want to fill down this one and then it's got a tiny hole here to let air out so that it doesn't pull back when you're filling it and it's really really easy to fill now the bigger bottles of course are going to give you a little bit more um, trouble but anything with like a needle nose type of tip you're not going to have any issues with you would just go ahead and push it like this and then fill it really really easy being that it's got that air hole on the other side it doesn't really pull back i actually had some e-liquid on the tip already um so it looks like it did but it didn't pull back that's actually just from the bottle itself um this bottle for some reason always does that with the drip tip and then just wipe it off like that and then all you have to do is just pop on the top and you're ready to go and then put it in the device this is what the mouthpiece looks like i like the shape of the mouthpiece because it actually goes really well with the device itself it's evenly shaped so i do like that and then all you have to do is just push it in and it's in on the device itself this does have a 1250 milliamp hour battery it is pretty much made of aluminum so it's very very lightweight you do have a push button here which does have the famous crown on it which i'm absolutely loving that and then this again is supposed to be the red but to me it's more pink i don't know let me know down in the comments what you think pink or red i love this design it gives it something special it's not like just plain black or anything like that i really love the design that they did on both sides on the bottom is your usb port and it does say ul and again this does have a 1250 milliamp hour battery mine is actually a sample so that's why it's a sample right there yours will not of course <laughs> and then this is like most devices to turn the device on you're going to click it five times one two three four five and you're going to see a little led indicator right here this indicator will be green when your battery is 60 percent or higher 30 to 60 is going to be blue and under 30 percent charge it's going to be red and that's definitely when you want to charge it this does not have 
the C type charging. It is a standard USB charging cable. So I want to let you know about that. You do have your viewing window here, but honestly, I really, I mean, I like that it's there, but I, it, to me, it just gives it more look. But the greatest part about this is that if you want to fill it, you can actually fill it with the pod already in. You don't have to take it out to fill it because it is top fill. So that I, I wanted to show you. So yeah, so this is the Crown Pod by UL, 1250 milliamp hour battery. It does have a three mil com, um, capacity. And the best part about this, watch this. Boom, there's your airflow control. This does have manual airflow control, so you can actually raise it up. It says min and max here. You can raise it up to resist uh, some of your airflow to make it a tighter draw, or you can have it all the way open. So I like mine for the one ohm pod. I like it about in the middle. It is a mouth to lung pod, but it's more of a looser mouth to lung. And then the direct lung, of course, the 0.6 ohm coil is actually more of a restrictive direct lung. So let's go ahead and go on top. We're going to have a vape. I'm going to give you some pros and cons and we'll talk about it. Okay, so here we are back on top with the Crown Pod by UL. And before anything, I'm going to go ahead and have a vape and then we'll talk more about it. Mm. And let's not press the button. Now, one thing I'm going to say right away is the flavor is really, really amazing on this. It doesn't matter if you've got the 1.0 ohm resistance on it or the 0.6 ohm resistance. There is no variation of flavor. Both of them give really, really good flavor. I personally do not use salt nick in it. You can use it, especially in the 1.0 ohm resistance coil. I personally just go up in, um, in nicotine level if I want a stronger nicotine hit. But for the most part, I actually vape mine with three milligram nicotine and I'm getting the same flavor and it doesn't bother me. I'm still getting my nicotine. So that is just my preference. It may, may not be yours. And especially for newer vapors out there, they might want a higher nicotine level, which you can always get that like six, nine, 12 milligrams of nicotine of regular e-liquid to put in them, or you can use Nixol. I saw me. Or <laughs> now 1250 milliamp hour ba battery in a device like this i think is really really great you've got a really long time before you have to charge it being that the resistances are a little bit more higher that means that you're not going to be able to get as high of a wattage and it doesn't have a wattage control you're not going to have a higher wattage use so the battery is going to last you a little bit longer now as the battery does go down when it gets closer to 30 percent, i do notice that it actually doesn't have the same heat and power behind it it still vapes really well but it you can you can kind of tell once it gets down to that 30 percent where you want to charge it and it's about to turn red on the led light um other than that i haven't really noticed any problems the pros for me are going to be flavor airflow control which let me show you i have the 0.6 ohm pot in here and pull that out so that you can see it. So this is the 0.6 ohm resistance pod right there. And right now I've got the airflow all the way open. I'm gonna close it up just a little bit right there. And then we'll go ahead and have another vape. Another huge pro for me is that it doesn't matter which way you put your pod in, it fits. So you can turn it either way. You don't have to be in a certain position. Airflow control works really, really great. I really love the feel of the airflow control and you can definitely tell that it that it's more restrictive. So the airflow control is definitely a pro for me. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the one ohm pod. And this one I have the airflow, oh, almost closed off. All right, a little, almost closed. So let's go ahead and have a vape on that one. With it almost all the way closed, with the airflow almost all the way closed, but not fully closed, that reminds me of like the cocoa, the Cali Burn, um, the more restrictive type of vapes or pod systems out there. This is it. So, I mean, I love the fact that you can tone down that, that airflow control and you're going to get, you know, a more tighter restrictive vape. Now I'm going to open up that one. Just pull it all the way down. Really, really easy to, to get to know. It's really, really easy. Now it's more open. 
I love that this actually gives you like a warmer vape. So that to me enhances the flavor in my opinion. Now, again, the resistance of the coils as well as the wattage range is actually on it. Now you can't adjust the wattage. So really that's not gonna have anything to do with why you're vaping. You're not gonna be selecting any type of wattage. But to me, either one of these pods are really, really great because you can actually adjust you know the airflow on them you can make the 0.6 ohm a little bit more re re um, restrictive if you want i personally like it all the way open and it works just fine for me and again you can push the fire which is another pro or you can just inhale <laughs> so i really really love that about it another thing is is that it comes in a bunch of colors i'm going to go ahead and leave the colors right up here for you this one is supposed to be a red but to me it's more like a fuchsia pink i don't know maybe it's just me but i think it's more of a fuchsia pink but i love the color so i'm really really happy that i got the pink one um let me know down in the comments below is this something that you like i like the feel of this i mean it's 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 very it's constructed really really well i love the fact that you've got the push to fire because i personally like push to fire more than the auto draw but for those of you out there that like the auto draw you do have that option with this it is a smaller device this is actually the um vaporesso one and it's about the same size as this one if you turn it sideways but this one of course is a little bit heavier because it's made of metal where this one is made of aluminum so it does you know keep the weight really really light like literally it feels like you're not even holding anything which i love 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 that um ul makes absolutely amazing products and this one is literally no joke it really works very well i think that you you would be happy with something like this because of the fact that it's got a great flavor it's got three mil capacity opposed to two which that to me is another huge pro two mils is just not enough for me most of the times but three mils it really does um work for me another one is the top fill so all you have to do you don't even have to release the pod you just go ahead and push the drip tip forward and then you can go ahead and fill it from the top that to me should have been number one pro but that is definitely a pro for me on this device so let me know in the comments down below is this something that you like do you like the top fill um or do you like to take out the pod and then have the plug personally i don't like plugs but I love this top fill. So that's pretty much it um, for my review. The only con that I have is that the fact that you really can't adjust any type of wattage, um, which is not really necessary in a pod type device, but that's that's probably gonna be one of the cons for you guys. So I did wanna mention that. But the mouthpiece is a little bit wider. That might be another little con for you guys. It's not uncomfortable though. I think that it's perfectly comfortable for a device like this. absolutely love the flavor on this and i actually have my pink guava that i made which i made monday it's absolutely amazing so yeah so that's it for my review and if you like the review go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the review give it a thumbs down don't forget to leave me in a comment number one do you think this is red <laughs> And two, let me know your opinion on something with an auto draw and three mil capacity and 1250 milliamp hour battery. Is this something for you? Let me know down in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye.